What does today's series mean as obviously both Josh and Nathaniel will have their mom uh, on their minds today? Yeah, they absolutely will. Josh and Nathaniel will be playing against each other in the postseason today. And unfortunately, Wendy, their mother, will not be here because she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Josh told us yesterday, he said that his mom told him that he could tell us before the game started because she said the more prayers, the better. If you know Wendy Lowe, you know that she is just a gem. She's such a sweetheart. She's so supportive of both of her sons, and she could not be more proud. And Josh Lowe has certainly made her proud this season. The Numbers he has put up have been incredible. And Josh, yesterday when he was talking about his mom, he said, listen, if there's one person who can beat brain cancer, mm. it's my mother. So I would encourage anybody at home, if you're watching, maybe make a donation in Wendy Lowe's honor to the American Cancer Society, the Jimmy yeah. v, v Foundation, American Cancer Research. Um, that would, I know, really go a long way for them. So their hearts will be heavy, but Wendy will be watching. And I know that both Josh and Nathaniel will make her proud. Well, we're sending our best to Wendy and, of course, Josh and Nathaniel uh, as they get ready to take on uh, each other in game one of this series. Uh, let's talk about the, the injuries that the Tampa Bay Rays have had to deal with here. Of course, this is a franchise has had to deal with a whole bunch, but some key <laughs> losses uh, to some key players recently. Jose Siri, Yandy Diaz, and Luke Rayleigh. What can you tell us about their status? I was going to say, Robert, when you bring up the injuries, I want to say which one, because yeah. the Rays have been plagued with so many injuries this season. And I know every team goes through injuries, but perhaps the Rays have suffered potentially the worst in the league, some of these injuries. But here's the good news. Jose Siri and Luke Rayleigh did take batting practice live BP yesterday, and they both look good. We're waiting word on whether or not they will be ready to go today, but they are optimistic. Yandy Diaz is completely ready to go today. The AL batting title champion. He was struggling with a little bit of a hamstring issue, but he is ready to go. He looks back to his normal self in Toronto. So if they can get Jose Siri back specifically in center field for their defense, that's a boost. If Yandy Diaz can, can perform like he has all, all season, that is also a boost. Luke Rayleigh, he has been so good for the Rays since he made the opening day roster at the start of the season. He's just provided so much for that lineup and his power and his speed on the bases. He's just been very good for them. So if they can get Luke Rayley and Jose Siri back today, I cannot put into words how much of a boost that will be for this lineup and that defense out in center field, Robert. Tyler Glass now gets the start for the Tampa Bay Rays. The Texas Rangers, Trisha, led the American League with 881 runs, 233 homers. What are the expectations for Glass now today? Yeah, well, Tyler Glass, now, when you think of him, you think of experienced in the postseason, and that's very good for the Rays. There is a comfort on the mound when he is there. I loved what Kevin Cash said yesterday, that he has the ability to dial it up. Of course, we know that he returned from Tommy John surgery right at the end of last season, pitched in the postseason in the wild card round for the Rays against the Guardians. Then at the beginning of this season, he suffered a bit of an oblique issue, but after he returned from that, he said over and over, over again, this is the healthiest that I have felt in my career. So you love to hear that from Glass now. And, and that's a telling statement because he's not going to say something like that if he doesn't mean it. So there is a comfort when he is on the mound in the postseason and there's also a comfort with Zach Eflin on the mound in game two. So the Rays are set up very well in these first two games with their starting pitching with guys who have been there and done that. What's the bullpen plan for the Rays? Yeah, that's a great question, Robert. So game three, we're not sure what we're going to see yet. You could see a combination of Aaron Savali, Zach Littell, and then the bullpen the rest of the way. They do expect potentially Zach Littell coming out of the bullpen, Taj Bradley coming out of the bullpen. Both of those guys were starters this season. But when you look at the bullpen options for the Rays, you feel very, very good. Robert Stevenson, he has put together an impeccable season. He tweaked his slider a little bit when he got to the Rays, and that has been such a weapon for him. Andrew Kittredge, Kevin Kelly, Pete Fairbanks, Sean Armstrong, Armstrong has been phenomenal since he came back from injury in May. Jake Diekman, and then you got Jacob Lopez and Colin Poche. They have put together one heck of a second half of the season specifically. So you feel very, very good about that bullpen and the guys who were starters in the regular season who may be coming out of the bullpen that only boosts it that much more. So the Rays feel very good about that 
bullpen right now going into the postseason. Yeah, on the flip side, the Rangers are the first team in history to make the postseason with more blown saves than saves uh, in a season. Trisha Whitaker covering the Rays for us at the Trop. Trisha, I know that there is a, a cold front coming through your area, so we appreciate <laughs> you uh, braving the elements for us here uh, this morning. I always bring my sweater, Robert, because I cannot handle anything 70 degrees mm -hmm. or lower, as I know you guys like to make fun of me for, yeah. but it is, it's going to get treacherous out here. So thoughts and prayers, please, for yeah, this, we, for we this cold front We coming. applaud your courage. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Trisha Whitaker covering the Tampa Bay Rays in advance of this afternoon's game one between the Rangers and Rays.